Hello, everybody. <laughs> How are you? I said. So here is our enlightening art, like a June special theme for uh, our artist. Like I think next week we still have one, and it's all about the Renaissance. Like we already like uh, go through like a uh, several artists. Uh, like uh, Leonardo, uh, Raphael, and um, who's that? Ra uh, Raphael, Leonardo, and hmm? suddenly forgot the name. Oh, Da Vinci. Da Vinci, Leonardo, Raphael. Like we already fi uh, finished talking about uh, those artists, and today we are talk about Caravaggio. Caravaggio, Caravaggio. Their English name is <laughs> kind of weird. Um, yeah, and so like, even though like you see that the background is really nice, glowing like a cute little boy, but actually, Caravaggio uh, is a really really bad tempered kind of person, and that's um, but. Even though like that, but he is did such an amazing job in his life, and then he brings so many good things to us. So let's come and get to know him. And in the end, we are going to draw really cute boys with those fruit on the hands. And are you guys ready? So please bring your uh, oil pastel, and then we are going to start our journey for the crowd. Caravaggio's life, okay? So first, uh, his name is Michelangelo. Like why? Everyone is called Michelangelo. That's <laughs> funny. Okay, so Michelangelo, Mercy da Caracino, was probably the most revolutionary artist of his his time for the abandoned uh the rules that the guys in century of artists who had uh idealized both a human and religious experience he can be said almost single handedly to have created the barque style wow hand <laughs> single handedly oh my god that is such a like unbelievable uh, job and also you could say the italian painter caracino was the rock star of the 17th century and he was very talented popular violent and famous so like um, every star like every famous person like um, you cannot expect them oh you did such a good job and you are so famous and you don't have any like um spot a black spot like spot for you and this even though like his violence in like a bad temper really rude sometimes, but it just cannot uh, define like he is not a great uh, like he's such a great leader and such a great artist at that time, and he was uh, and like many troubled uh, but gift artists, he died young. Oh my god, he died young. Yeah. Cannot imagine if he lived longer. Uh, like. Thinking us uh, talking about the bad temper, I was remember like people say, "Oh, Job Steve is really bad temper," but hmm, no, nothing, no comments for that. <laughs> okay, and he was born uh in Michelangelo Mercy in North Italia in 1571. Like I feel like at that time, like people always named by their uh, where they come from, like Devon C. Like. They, he just come from that place. So it's really funny. And like Raphael, he almost named like Rubino. Rubino, right? Rubino. <laughs> but if he like, uh, not not uh, like Raphael, like luckily he have a really nice name. Like I feel like when I was starting our like, because uh, in China, like um, we do not have like English name when we born, but like several people like to name themselves a Raphael. But uh, for the Michelangelo, like not much. But here, like uh, people, I think here, like they uh love the name Michael, Mike Michelangelo. Like it's kind of long, but it's cool. Um, and then so like he came know he became known as Caracino because he was the. 
he was the name of the this was the name of the small town from which he came so at 30 he was uh, a pro a protense uh, a local artist but his career begin uh, began in roma when he was 21 wow, such a young age and then he's so like uh, those talent artists like they already showing their talents when they are really young and then they keep produce a lot of really great art um so i think this is really great um like if you want your uh kids maybe become an artist you can start to send them in with us so like we can learning art together okay ah uh, just a little advertisement okay in 1606 and he killed a young man in a fight and ran away from roma so like you see that he was starting his bad temper uh and like those kind of like uh, careless for the rules and he ran away because rome said it would be give money to people who caught uh caracino okay in uh mal melita in 1608 he got into a fight again he got into another fight in naples in 1609 but his fight could have been in uh enemies like maybe the people who hate him trying to kill him so in 1610 after making making paintings for more than 10 years he died so i feel like he'll just fight getting a fight getting in another fight and getting another fight and then he died <laughs> but actually he was creating so many like masterpieces doing his life and you see the works he did like compared to that time like people they all doing a really like um like really boring kind of like a religion style of work and then his work come out is kind of like a fresh air in that environment so that's why at the first point i, I said it he was breaking like a, a really great step in between the religion and the human life and he's really good at doing like this like a uh, 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 uh caravaccino at first paint small still life picture fruit and flower and portrait of boys who were sometimes dressed in looks like a figure from the an ancient like a myth uh like their bar too here so you see that uh this painting maybe not their like a signature but i just find, uh, saw a lot of this picture uh, online but you can tell like he was combined those pig figure with the fruit and really nice and the people like this picture ah oh, i'm sorry i shouldn't put this one i you should think about taking a look at their front cover like those like a young boy is glowing it's really beautiful but in the same time which is so weird like he their the godmother she, he did is kind of like this like weird like you see that the one on the top left is Raphael, and the right side is Da Vinci, and the Caracino, like you, you see, he, uh, he did the, uh, uh, like Maria is kind of like, ooh, what? <laughs> so in 1584, and he was a pre, a prince for uh four years to Lombard uh painter uh si Simon Simony. Peter Russell upon the appearance ship uh, ending he remained in that area here he become familiar with works of Da Vinci, da Vinci like Leonardo da, da Vinci uh, Michelangelo and Titan Titan Raphael uh, and other high renaissance master which were popular in that area so like he was like the the great great people like they were always like easy to get together and then but let's come back for the uh, his lifestyle so as what we uh, as we said before like he has a really a violence and he is really like uh um rude and so also uh, Carancino was a dangerous criminal so he had a reputation for a short temper and was quickly to fall into bar or strip bows so he commit relative light but bizarre infractions so like he i think he is the most like a uh, uh easy to get in trouble kind of artist like he was drinking and then in front of the bar he was starting fighting it's like thinking about the flight flight club okay and it uh in one uh so, uh, so 
like in one inst instant, he cut a hole in his ceiling to allow more natural light uh, while painting. And this important uh, cue. Uh, competency give him uh, give his landlord course to uh, throw him out beyond this he was born uh, to trial for significant crime at least 11 times so including scaring a guard and throwing a place to at the face of the waiter because he um, because where did I, where where am I <laughs> Because he believed his uh, undercooked uh, artichoke was an insult. Oh my god. So like, you see that? <sighs> Such a character. <laughs> okay, so he tried to leverage uh, painting for a pardon from a death warrant. So you see that throughout his uh, four years in ex uh, Exley. He was in constant uh, pursuit, uh, pursuit in of a pa uh, pardon from the poem for his death warrant after having murdered a rat, rat uh, a person. And he sent a painting including David with the head of uh, Goliath and Salmon with the head of John and... Uh, this painting name such a long name. Okay, two powerful friends and family member like who had the ear of the poem, with the hope that he could medicate um meditate a pad pardon pardon pardon. He died before ever being a pardon. <laughs> okay. And one of his most famous paintings, The Calling of St. Matthew, has not been moved over 400 years. So there's some like interesting fact about like his work, like in 1599, Cravaccino like, were commissioned to produce two paintings for the uh, Contravoli Chapel in the Church of San Luigi. The frenzy okay so complete in 600 his hmm, painting are two of his major works uh, which bring him international recognition and commit uh, his ability to secure commissions for the rest of his life the calling of Saint Matthew remains in chapter so having with two words uh, two world world war and multiple inventions are a weird occurrence for a, such a large high prof profile work so such lucky for that otherwise it just like keep breaking and even though you keep fixing it the time just like flies okay while he was alive he was very famous as we know so and many artists wanted to paint like like he did so you see that the one on the right side he was did a really amazing job but after he died most people forgot about him and didn't care about his painting hundreds of years later in the 90s people look at his art again and saw that he had been very important they saw that many other uh, famous artists had tried to paint like he did so like after 100 years like he was really success and he died he then he disappeared and then people find out like after 100 years oh wow he's doing good and then they just trying to recover that so it's really funny so like uh, because so many artists uh, had seen his painting and like how he painted so and tr uh, trying to paint like he did he made many artists paint paint in the barque style too so barque style was very famous for hundreds of years so like those like lace like uh, th those environment things like that and so you see that Caravaggino's painting sells for a record high price okay so because of the Caravaggino status or as a barque uh, master so his work are not uh, often available for sale, particularly on the public market. His uh, second version of Ju Judas beheading, uh, beheading uh, Hol Holofern discovered in uh, French like in tw uh, 2014. 
and was estimate a one hundred seventy million. So the work was sent to go to auction in June two thousand nineteen, but was uh acquired uh acquired via private sale at the last moment. The final purchase price remained confidential. And let's take a look at some of his really uh great great um pieces like this the fortune teller was his major pieces it shows like mario like being a uh, cheat uh, by a gypsy girl and this was a new style to roman artist roma artist and for this reason the style helped like uh, pave pave the way for changes that comes in uh, roma artists for several years to come however this was so for a very low price so his first major painting and was the car car, sh car ships uh, which is considered his first masterpieces it became like an extremely popular price and today they are over 550 of these pieces in a uh, curation uh, cu circulation these and several other pieces he created during this period okay help pave the way for his career and helped create a name for him in the art world as he began to uh for forget like for forget friendship and met the more local artists who were highly regarded in roma art forms so like i said before they are really like for uh like old style for uh like for doing the religion type like it's really kind of boring but then like the life like the works he did just like bring the life to the portrait so actually it's really amazing and also this painting medusa medusa was a uh, Jorgen, Jorgen, a terrifying uh, creature with a snake head, uh, hair uh, instead of hair, from uh, Greek mythology, and she was so repulsive, hmm? repulsive, that anyone who looked at her, uh, her turned to stone. So Greek uh, hero Perseus was given a. By the goddess Athenic, so that he could avoid looking at the Medusa as he behead him. So Caracino depicted her ho ho horror in Medusa's eyes as he understand that his head was cut off. So the painting shows an intensive level of real realism. And Clarcino used dark and light contract so effectively that Medusa looks three dimension as if she is coming off the round painting locked in Galeria. You live, you live in Florence. Okay, so I like this painting so much so let's start to do this work dun, 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 dun. it's time for us to create something really cool okay i'm so excited right now so let me set up everything so are uh, you guys have your uh have your oil pastel Okay, so let's get the paper. I'm 
going to do a straight. I have, I should have some music. Here, let's have some music. This song, I love it. <laughs> I'm going to show you some cool song. Some cool song. Okay, so um, first we are going to get the pencil. Hey, where's my pencil? some tech issue. Okay. So first we are going to have the brown face here. of details not only the portrait so I'm going to have the hair some flower here the cup here So you can see here. Like that. So that will be their face first. I need to reduce like a lot of like this dark paint. Because um, the oil pastel is is going to like cannot cover some of the pencil mark, so that's why I need to erase some parts. Okay. Okay, oil pastel, come out. So as 
last first part, uh, we are going to do the fresh color. And make the face even choppy. So when you guys try to paint, like you see that I'm trying to put the like what I did before. Make sure, like, uh, here, I need to erase that part as well. Eh? Where's my pen fell? I feel like I just had that. Oh, here. This part I need to clean out a little bit. <laughs> it's getting fatter and fat, the face. And get the darker color for here. Yeah. Oh, you see that I blend the color. And then the next step is like you see that you have a really long eyebrow. And this one is here. A little bit bigger. Get rid of like those extra pain. Like if you have a plastic knife, you can get rid of that. And the nose can have some. Like after this five class, like then I feel like it's not easy to like actually 
if you're trying to do the pain, you need to be really careful because like it just like keep spread out. And their little cute face. really dirty. And the tiny orange pink lips. Okay, so now with the hair, uh, the flower on top is the red color for the hair. And some and some yellow. Blend it like those yellow color. Some green color to blend it. <laughs> it's kind of 
kind of like a pineapple, but like in a weird way. <laughs> Just like those, like, uh, ancient, like, Chinese, like, the, those princess had. Okay, now it's time to make sure those black is stay in their paper. I have too much white color on the back, so I need to... And the white color for the clothes. So let's do the white color for the clothes first. Where's my gray color? Ah, the gray color always hard to find. Oh, here. Okay, not too much, just slightly. Just the basic color is still white, so we're just like adding a little bit of here or something. And then use the white color to blend it. But let, let's go straight, okay? Because I don't want to go this way, so then like you cannot see anything. And a really pink. <laughs> it's kind of too much. Yeah, I forgot there's some black in there.
Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm getting dirty in here. Okay, so the background is like a... Some dark area. Brown. Oh, and the wine. Let's do it after the finish. The See that I was doing really careful for this part. To like put the, the oil pastel back to the painting. That's an orange. I don't like some part. And their wine for their purple color. Purple is not dark enough, so I need to use Okay, so maybe you will use the white color to keep blended down And now let's get their night. I get a little bit too heavy. Top parts for it. Okay, and then I can use the gray color.
Like that, we are going to like uh, get the dark color first, and then we can get the light color on top. So it will be easy. to redo it. So I need to use her. This way. Get the outline. To have a really light outline. Get a highlight around here. And one more highlight over here, like one on the left side and one on the right side. Okay, so let me get three of those slips. Can we do a little bit after or? Hi. 
my god. Still. Okay. I have to fix this little spot. Okay, so lovely painting done. Okay, so um, we are have uh. So after, if you finish, please send your works to me, and I would like to share more with you and. Let me. Oops. I totally forgot to take away this point. Okay, so looking forward to see you guys work. And we have summer camp going on right now, and I'm teaching the master of uh, master of artists work uh, uh, camp. So if you want to join me or my weekly class, I will see you then. Just visit shop.kathyfutureus.com. I will be there and wait for you. And we have special discount just to add. Email me if 